Hi everyone, I'm back for another unboxing at Retro Gameplay, but a special one. Uh, it's a super hard statue to get now. Her days is the MRC Special Bean Cannon uh, by MRC Studio. Uh, super excited to show you guys that statue because I've never seen it in person uh, and I've been looking to get that statue. So that's the original because I know they make two uh, batch of that one. So we got the first one and we got the second one and we got the hand on the first one. So I don't know the difference between the two, but I'm going to unbox the first one. I'm super excited. Let's stop talking and let's unbox it now. So guys, that's the box, um, the original box. As you guys can see, we got the statue on the back. Uh, we got Master Resin Collection uh, on the side, which means MRC. And on the side again, we got the name of the statue, so Special Bean Cannon Limited Edition. Same thing on the side. On top, we got the name of the studio. And on the back, nothing. Let's do the unboxing right now. So we got the authenticity card with the number 74 out of 300. I know the second batch have uh, 200 made and this one, the first one got 300. So a total of 500 uh, made worldwide. But I think the first one is better. We'll unbox it and see if it's actually way better. So that's the base guys. So we got the Yonder logo MRC Special Bean Cannon. Uh, the number limited edition and we got the base huge base I don't know if you guys can tell uh, on the video but it's actually super big look at that how big it is it's huge but that's super cool so actually you have the button to activate the light I guess right here on the rock that's pretty cool I don't know if they had that on the second version Gohan laying down. So we got Reddit's chest open. So we got Goku, the bean, and then the air. So I guess the bean goes straight here. get the other bean so if you guys need it you can also use it for other things than the statue <laughs> so guys super hard to put the the end you have to put in front of the armor and then it goes straight around wipe it around I mean and then plug it to Goku boom that's it, but it's really hard. So we have Piccolo throwing his attack. Boom. We got Goku's face in pain for sure. So we got the two arms of Raditz. So we got the air and Raditz's face. Maybe I need to take out Goku's face and then put Raditz first. I don't know. And then Goku's on his side. Boom. A lot of Super Saiyan hair for sure. And we got the three armor that might go on the side. We also have the Dragon Ball Z logo magnet on the front we also have gohan hat right there so we got a couple leaves i don't know where the leaves goes probably somewhere here and then the other one might be right there i guess boom piccolos And we got all those little broken spaceship part. I don't know if you guys can see 
we go straight around the spaceship, I guess, because the Gohan just broke everything. So you can just put them around as you want, I'm guessing, like that. Boom. Guys, wow, what a statue. It's an amazing statue. It was super scary to actually build it, I mean, put it together, uh, because so many different parts here uh, that you have to put it together. It's really scary, but I have to admit, it's a super impressive statue. i never seen it in person, so I'm pretty excited. Um, but wow. I'll get some close-up look so you guys can see it better. Some close-up look. So we got the base, pretty simple base, brown all around, nothing crazy. And we got the Dragon Ball Z logo. Then we have Piccolo. So Piccolo's face, I mean the paint is on point for sure. 100% look at that. It looked like you're looking at the anime. The details on the arm is on point the bean and then we'll go straight to Raditz same looks super realistic I'll turn around so you guys can see better look at that face look at the armor on the chest super sick and we have Goku on the back he's in pain for sure bloody Goku and if you feel like it from the side, like that. Super sick statue. No texture on the uh, pants or anything, but it looked really, really, really good. Also on the back, we have the capsule, broken capsule, and then we have Gohan sleeping. super sick so guys to compare the difference between the first version and the second one because uh, retro gameplay received uh, the second version first but it was broken so you buy another one I can show you the difference so first difference on the first batch is that you have the AC adapter that you can plug and use uh, the LED function straight to Piccolo and you can use it with the rock button on the second batch, you have no L I mean, uh, AC adapter. You have to buy a charger that you put it in and see it's not working. So it's, that, it's a big difference for sure. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the paint, see that's the second batch and goes straight to the other one. The first batch look way, way, way better. The point, the skin, the details, the paint. I'll show you guys both. Yeah. This one, I don't know you guys can tell, but the paint is better for sure. Also, another thing is the special bean. I don't know if you guys see it, but on the first batch, the finger touch to the bean. And if you look at the other one, you have a huge gap. So I don't know if they changed the mold or something, but that's also something that you can notice for sure. So super statue, but guys, if you want to buy it, you need to buy the first one for sure. Just for the AC adapter, the special bean, and the paint. Way, way better. So close up of both. So you guys can see the difference. Look at the nose on this one, kind of like round. And this one is more like pointy nose. 
It looked almost like a different pose. Crazy. So guys, that was my review uh, and my unboxing about the amazing statue. Super excited to have it in person and be able to compare it to the second batch uh, to see the difference so you guys can see it better if you want to buy it uh, and know the difference between the two because we all never know when you guys statue buy a statue, you get to your house and then after you realize uh, the difference between the other one. So it's always cool to have a video to be able to compare it uh, and know the one that you want to buy. Uh, also, if you guys do like that t-shirt, uh, I have a friend that actually make them. Uh, the name on in uh, Instagram is Real Suspect. I'll leave all the information down below. Uh, so if you guys want to look up his art, all this t-shirt design, uh, and you'll be able to, to see online all his stuff. But yeah, super cool. I love that statue. Remember guys, subscribe, like, that really do help the channel. Uh, I can't thank you enough. And thanks to Retro Gameplay, that amazing store. If you guys come to Paris, you have to come here and visit. If you need any info on Retro Gameplay, don't hesitate, contact me for sure. I'll be happy to help. Peace out. Chala, hey, chala.